Horrifying moment 8 million pounds bridge installed in just 6 hours collapsed killing at least 6 in Florida. The revolutionary pound 8 million bridge collapsed as cars waited underneath at a red light. Horrifying CCTV footage has emerged which reveals the moment a bridge collapsed in Miami, killing up to 10 people and injuring another 10. The innovative instant bridge was installed in just six hours on Saturday to improve student safety near the Florida International University. On Thursday the cables were being tightened and stress tested when the 950-ton concrete structure collapsed onto traffic on the busy highway below, killing at least six people. Authorities said that at least eight cars were crushed and at least nine people were transported to hospitals for treatment. Firefighters are combing through the wreckage in Miami and fear the death toll will increase. The pound 8 million pedestrian bridge was designed to, to make it safer for students to cross a busy, eight-lane highway to Florida International University. It was installed in just six hours using a revolutionary method called accelerated bridge construction in which the bridge is constructed off-site to keep disruption to traffic to a minimum but its cables had loosened since it was installed five days earlier which brought engineers to tighten and stress test the structure before the fatal collapse. The cables which support the walkway are supposed to be secured to stabilizing towers. But when the bridge collapsed, the main tower had not yet been installed, and it was unclear what the builders were using as temporary supports, ABC News reports. The bridge was intended to withstand a Category 5 hurricane and stand for 100 years. But now the firms behind the design and construction face a potentially criminal investigation. The bridge collapsed as around eight cars were waiting at a red light underneath. Unconfirmed reports suggest as many as 10 people have died and eight have been hospitalized. Emergency personnel with sniffer dogs searched for signs of life amid the wreckage and twisted metal that drained from the collapsed structure and crushed vehicles on one of the busiest roads in South Florida. The footbridge collapsed at around 1.30 p.m. local time, according to the Miami Herald. Police have ordered helicopters away from the scene as the whirring of their blades were making it impossible to hear survivors in the rubble. Specialist listening equipment is being used to listen for survivors who could be trapped beneath tons of debris. We're working our way into the pile trying to create holes that we can actually physically see, Miami-Dade Fire Department Division Chief Palestopian told reporters. Witness Shana Page told ABC News that the screams coming from the cars were terrifying. As soon as I looked outside, I saw dust flying everywhere, she said. I knew the bridge had collapsed. Local media are reporting police sources talking about mass casualties as emergency services rushed to the scene. Heartbreaking video has emerged of nurses and doctors responding to the incident as police call in extra medics. Construction workers on the scene told a reporter from the Miami Herald that the cause was likely to be an engineering failure. Donald Trump's press secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders said the president is aware of the deadly pedestrian bridge collapse at the Florida International University campus in Miami, and will offer whatever support is needed to local officials. At least eight people had been transported to the trauma center at Kendall Regional Medical Center, according to local media. The condition of the patients is not yet known. The bridge was designed to withstand a Category 5 hurricane, the most dangerous measure by the U.S. National Hurricane Center, and built to last 100 years, the university said. The walkway has not yet been open to the public, with locals expecting it to open in the coming days. It crossed Southwest 8th Street near 109th Avenue in the city. Journalists at the scene have been asked to move away by the police who've told them they are worried the rest may fall down. The bridge was the built next to the road and then rolled into place in one piece, being the largest bridge ever built this way in the U.S. The $11 million project aimed to connect the university with a nearby new housing development. The 950-ton span was installed on Saturday with the main part of the 174-foot span was assembled by the side of the road while support towers were built at either end.
University management previously paid tribute to the construction method, claiming it was safer. FIU is about building bridges and student safety. This project accomplishes our mission beautifully, said FIU President Mark B. Rosenberg. Using an innovative approach to bridge construction, the main span, which weighs 950 tons, was built next to Southwest 8th Street. This technique reduced potential risks to workers, commuters and pedestrians and prevented traffic tie-ups in the area. In a statement, the university said it was shocked and saddened about the tragic events unfolding on campus. At this time we are still involved in rescue efforts and gathering information, the university said. We are working closely with authorities and first responders on the scene. Florida Governor Rick Scott tweeted that he was aware of the collapse and that he would be in constant communication with law enforcement throughout the day. He also added that an investigation will be taking place to find out why this happened and what happened. He stressed that if anyone did anything wrong we will hold them accountable. FIG, who were collaborating on the project with MCM Construction, also issued a statement saying it was stunned by the collapse. The statement said, In our 40-year history, nothing like this has ever happened before. Our entire team mourns the loss of life and injuries associated with this devastating tragedy and our prayers go out to all involved.